everybody, NavyDoc5184 here, and welcome to my reaction to the top 10 John Lennon songs. Um, these are going to be John Lennon post Beatles. So this is going to be his solo work. Um, need to give a shout out to Ocean Child 1987. Um, they're the ones that actually gave me the idea to do this. Um, uh, because with my uh, Beatles reaction that I did a little while ago, um, you know, I talked about how I was kind of displeased with how much they left off of that list. And in the comments, um, they suggested uh, possibly reacting to some of the Beatles solo work. So I will be doing this as well as um, Paul McCartney solo. And um, I think I even tried to see if they had any lists for George Harrison and Ringo Starr. I did see one for George, but couldn't really find any for Ringo. I know he didn't have much, and I don't want to just leave out. So maybe I'll just stick with John and Paul since I know that their solo careers have been a little more, um, I don't know if fruitful is the right word. But I might throw George in there too. I'll just do whatever I can find. But we're going to start with John, and this is all post-Beatles. And I will leave a link to the original video um, down in the descriptions and I'll also leave one at the end of the video if you're interested in uh, just uh, checking this list out without my commentary so anyhow um, let's go ahead and get started okay not bad not bad uh, let me go ahead and um, pause it real quick uh, real quick just get my thoughts on the song itself I don't know if I would throw this in my top 10 for John Lennon, but it's not a bad song, um, especially for what it was. Uh, it's um, the thing I really like about John Lennon's musical writing is, you know, it feels like, you know, after they kind of got out, like even in during the Beatles, after they kind of got out of their little pop phase, I guess you could say, um, where they tried to be a lot more surreal with their music. And John was being very biographical with a lot of his songs, trying to tell a story with his songs. And um, this one, I think, was when he was trying to, you know, just kick all the drugs he was on. And I think he was going at a cold turkey. And I can only imagine how rough that was. But, uh, yeah. So, I can appreciate the song. I don't think I'd put it in my top ten. But I don't think I would really dispute it being in anybody's top ten either. So, I'd be very curious to see where, uh, uh, where this person goes with the rest of this list. Let's continue. Oh, here we go. Yeah, love this song. This is probably my favorite um, John Lennon post Beatles album, Double Fantasy. I got to pause because I got to talk on that too. Sorry, you might be getting a lot of pauses here because I might have a lot of commentary on this. But um, love Double Fantasy. Absolute work of art in my opinion. And it's just such a shame that he wasn't able to continue after that because, you know, he had... Uh, you know, that was when he was shot, Was I think, uh, after he had released that album. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, at least his last album was a great album. You know, aren't very many songs on that album that I can't say that, you know, that like, you know, I like almost all the songs on there. You know, there's even the song that Yoko sang on there that I could I could actually handle it, you know. But uh, and even my favorite John Lennon post uh Beatles song is on that album and I hope they have it on this list um, they may or may not we'll find out if it's not on there I will definitely tell you yeah but and this song the story that this song told is I think if I remember correctly if I read correctly um, basically this was like him um, talking about like when he took his break after Sean was born and he had quit recording for like five years i think it was um it was like people's response you know it was like uh people talking to him you know it's like did he miss being in the spotlight you know did he ever want to get back you know he was just sitting there watching you know everything go by you know and i think that this was him talking about how content he was with that but um yeah enough of me let's get back to the music Working class hero is something to be. They hurt you at home and they hit you at school. This is a good song, too. Again, not one. Ooh, love this one. Love this song. I don't think there's a version of this song I've heard that I did not like. 
but this is probably my favorite version. John did this song justice. Another one from Double Fantasy, great. And this was, I think this was like the perfect opening song for that album. You know, because he had been away from recording for five years, and the first album he does in that is called Just Like Starting Over. You know, it's like, to me, that's just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This, I'm not going to lie, I'm amazed at how catchy this tune is, but I think I appreciate how simple it is. Ooh. Ooh, it's a good one. This is a good one. Very deep, too. If y'all know his story, you know why this song is basically about his mother. Ooh, deep, deep, deep. Oh, this is another song. That's a great one. Alright, so I'm going to pause real quick because I know that um, I know that there have been times where I think I've seen quotes of John getting on Paul for his ballad writing and all that. But boy, did John have some ballads of his own that could rival Paul. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, oh boy. And that was one of them. That was one of them. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, so this is number two. Definitely deserves to be in the top ten for sure. I have no problem with this being in the top ten. However, comma, that means, A, my favorite John Lennon song is not in this person's top ten, which is fine. I can see that. I can see it, you know, not being in the top ten. You know, people have their different criteria. I'm just going to say this. If Imagine isn't number one, and while Imagine isn't my number one, actually, I think I would probably put that at a, Number two for me, actually. No, actually, I think I've probably put Imagine at number three. But if that's, again, it's kind of like with the Beatles, you know, when I said, hey, Jude, well, that may not be my number one. It's definitely got to be in the top 10. Imagine's going to be that. And I bet you that's going to be number one. So I'm just going to go off and say um, the song off Double Fantasy, Woman, is my number one. That's my personal number one. And I would probably replace that. I could actually already think of the two songs I would probably replace because there's another song that I would put in my top 10 that wasn't on here. Uh, Whatever Gets You Through the Night. I would have Whatever Gets You Through the Night and Woman on this list in place of probably Working Class Hero and Cold Turkey. Um, probably wouldn't put those in that same order. I don't know what order I would do. Um, maybe in a little maybe in a little while I'll put a comment on what my personal top 10 would be. I just know Woman would be number one. but um. Yeah, so I'll just say this. As long as Imagine is number one on here and it's on this top ten, I'm going to call this a legit list. All right, there we go. There we go. Isn't this song needed right now, though? And the world will live as one. No, thank you for making this list. That was a good list. That was a good list. Now, that's a list I can get behind. I might not co agree with all the placements. And like I said, two songs I would probably replace and switch with others. But this was a good list. This was a legit list. You know, it, it covered a lot of his solo career, you know, and... You know, there's not much I can really say about this list. Uh, very well done. Um, definitely enjoyed this list. Um, I need to add, you know, it's like, I know I have a John Lennon music on like CDs, but I haven't transferred most of them to my phone yet. I need to transfer some of those to my phone for sure. But um, yeah, in terms of solo careers, um, it's very interesting because I, I was having this discussion with uh, the Ocean Child 1987 who uh, gave me the idea to do the solo reactions. 
And, um, you know, she made me think a little bit. I hope you're a she. If you're not, I apologize. I'm just, you know, I didn't really look. I think you're a she. But, um, <laughs> um, so, um, I'll, I'd have to look back at the conversation and see how I thought about it. But I thought about it for a second. And John Lennon was my favorite Beatle. And, like, the songs he did post-Beatles, like, I like more than Paul McCartney stuff. However, I think the number of Paul McCartney solo stuff, of songs, per se, I think is more than the number of John Lennon songs. So, like, like an example, like, let's say they each released 50 songs. For John Lennon, I would probably like 20 of those 50 and for Paul, I would probably like 40 of the 50. However, I like John's 20 better than I like Paul's 40. That's I think that's how you do it. So I think Paul had more good songs than John did post Beatles. It probably helped that he, you know, um, you know, I don't want to sound cynical, but, you know, John was killed in 1980. And I think John was really starting to um, mature even more than he already had as a songwriter. Um, so he might have you know, been able to catch up with Paul, you never know. Maybe they would have gotten the Beatles back together and pulled what the Rolling Stones had been doing. Um, there's no telling, but, um, yeah, but the songs that John did write that I liked, I liked more than the songs that Paul wrote. So I think, I think I've said that to where it makes sense. So it's like, I like John's stuff better, but I think Paul had more quality content and it probably did have to do with longevity, but I think it was just because, I don't know. Paul had a very interesting uh, way of doing his song. You know, it. You know, he wasn't very biographical a whole lot. You know, but he was able to tell good stories with his songs. I think. You know, and you know, he had great knowledge of you know like orchestra placement and stuff like that. You know, I just wish I could pinpoint what it was about Paul's stuff that I like. You know, it's like with John, I know what it is that I like about it. But it's like with Paul, it's just like you can't really just pick one thing. You know, it's like for one song, it might be one thing that hooks you. For another song, it's something else that hooks you, you know. But that may be a discussion for another topic. But uh, for the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, make sure you hit that alert button so you know whenever new uploads come up. And leave a comment and let me know what you thought about this list. And also let me know what are your top 10 John Lennon songs. I'll catch you all down the road.